Hi guys. I just wanted to get on here real quick and show you. Um, the other day I talked about the BB cream and um, this is the BB cream and honey. Now honey is a little bit dark for me. So what I'm going to do today is mix it with my concealer in Scarlet. Um, we're out of the bisque. That's why I don't have the bisque. But um, I couldn't wait because I wanted to try this and I was really happy with it. Um, the other day so I wanted to show you guys how I did it and how much I I'm gonna try something different today yet the other day I mixed it on my fingers and put it on with my fingers but today I'm gonna try a brush and we'll see if it works I'm not sure it'll work or not but um, another thing that I want to just tell you is that um, I have put on um, I just got to think I didn't put face primer on but I don't think I'm gonna really need it with the BB cream not sure about that but I'm not going to put it on because it'll be too quickly but what I did do was I um, washed my face and then I put rose water on it and the rose water has made a dramatic difference in the redness in my face I I'm amazed at how well how it's not red anymore hardly at all and um, I used our daily let me see the name of this one I've been using our night cream at night. This is our um, time correcting night cream and I love it. It's really nice. And then I, um, this morning I used our Divine Daily Moisturizer. And I also used our um, Instant Lifting Serum. There's also another serum. Um, this one you're supposed to see instant results, um, but it's also good for fine lines and wrinkles. I think the, I'm not real sure the the difference between the two, but um, I've noticed a little bit of difference. I'm not sure. I think this is more <laughs> an ego thing. No, I don't know about that, but <laughs> um, it probably does work really well. I just haven't really noticed. I've been putting it right here because I have terrible frown lines. I've been putting it right there and I'm not noticing anything there. My eyes, um, they are they are better for sure. But the redness from the rose water, I just am amazed at it. But Okay, so I'm going to try putting this. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to put... About that much we'll see how this goes and then I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer in there and I did it like that much and then what should I use to mix it I didn't think this through very well maybe I'll use I don't really want to use that brush I'll use um, just a brush. I don't know whether to use a brush or not, but we're going to do it. So I'm just mixing it like this. This isn't the brush I planned to use on my face. That's why I didn't want to do it this way. Okay. And I'm just going to use a just a flat foundation brush that I have. It's not very good and it's losing its hairs. I'm just going to dab it on. Now, like I said, I haven't, most people use their fingers when they're putting this on, so I'm not really sure if this is going to work. But we'll give it a try. The other thing I got, um, so I've been reading that as you age, I want to get this all in my hair, you shouldn't use as much powder on your skin, on your face. It'll um, draw attention to the wrinkles and I love powder. So I'm disappointed about that. But what I got to try um, is the cream foundation and see if how that compares to the rest. I love the liquid foundation and now I like this too but now this doesn't the BB um, tinted moisturizer doesn't give you the coverage the um, that 
regular foundation does. Now the concealer that you're adding in with it uh, does help with that, with the coverage. Um, and if you didn't need to change the color of your BB cream, you could just use your uh, the same color foundation or concealer that you would if you had the good foundation. Um, but the the BB creams only come in five different colors, so there's probably always going to be a little bit of playing around to get the right color. But I think this turned out pretty good. I think it was more work doing it with the brush than if I had just used my fingers. So, and I don't really think that there's difference in the coverage by using the brush with this cream. So, I don't know. Maybe the, because there's probably a little bit of waste too on my, on my hand. So maybe I would just go with uh, just using your fingers for this one. I don't know. But anyway, I do really like it. Um, it's not um, heavy at all. feels very nice. Uh, I can't really tell if it's coming off of my hands, but it hasn't really set yet either. So now the question is, do I put powder on to set it? I don't know. Um, I didn't the other day, and it stayed... And I'll have to find out about the face primer, whether you should use that before you put the BB cream on. I'm thinking not, but I'm not 100% positive on that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick. And if you have any questions, give me a shout out, send me a message or comment on one of my posts. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.